Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. How's it going? How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is doing well today. Can everybody hear me okay? I just want to make sure that uh, the setup is working. Um, I have uh, been having a little bit of technical difficulties this morning, so let me double check real fast with you. Can you guys all hear me? Hey, what's up, uh, uh, Valenese, Kasanlo, Neat and Cooking? Hey, how's it going, everybody? Random stuff, Thiru, Bridget, Valenese. Yes, everything's okay. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Thanks, guys. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Oh, I'm so ready for the weekend. Can't wait um, to go fishing and to build some games. Uh, you know, what I was thinking. I was thinking uh, this weekend I might even try to build a fishing um, a fishing game. Uh, I was just thinking about using linkers and stuff to in like a fishing pole to try to like build some sort of like fishing style app that would be kind of fun. Like you point your finger or you flick your finger and it casts it like throws your your line at stuff. Anyways, I might do that this weekend. I don't know. I'm just thinking about it. Uh, it's good night in India. Uh, oh, thank you. I'm glad you like the headphones. Yeah, these uh, we should have like official build box headphones. They would be so cool. Um, Slushy2008, what's up? Uh, practical Gamer, question, how to add a GDPR in build box uh, game, in, in game is still confused. Uh, I'm pretty sure that GDPR is um, just built in. I have to double check right now. Uh, Hugh, uh, can you ask, can you find out about the GDPR thing? Uh, Cause I'm pretty sure we, we handled that a, like a long time ago. Um, but I, and I don't think you have to do anything like very special to implement it into your game. Yeah. So, um, yeah, anyways, we'll find, we'll find out. Uh, Hugh will get back to me. Um, Thank you. Okay, so how do you do? Uh, how do you add ads? Okay, so Slushy two thousand eight. So um, for this one, um, I'm gonna just very very quickly like show you where to go. But what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to provide you with two video links, um, to so that you can just watch the videos on your own and you can just do it because um, that's probably the best way to do it. So um, real fast though. Uh, we'll go to this uh, stack colors game that we built yesterday, um, and then uh, we will. I'll show you just real quickly, like where you add advertisements and stuff. So you go up here to the top right corner where you go to settings, and this is a little gear icon, and then it has uh, three little tabs: general, editor, and SDKs. You want to go to SDKs, all right, and you're gonna want to you're gonna do this twice for both Android and iOS, depending on if you want to do both or you know whichever one you want to do. Then you go here to the add button and you go to ads, and then you can add your an ad mob uh, ads. You can add Iron Source ads or you can add custom ads. And you know what? Um, I'll go ahead and just give you the link real fast to watch a video tutorial so that you can slowly go through this at your own pace. Uh, this one is, um, where is it? Ad monetization. You've got uh, ad monetization, ad mob, and you've got ad monetization, iron source on these tutorials right here. Um, I'm going to just snag this link and I'm going to throw it into the chat. Boom. Okay. So that first one was uh, ad mob. This next one is going to be iron source. And boom, pasted that one into the chat too. Dunskies. Um, all right, yeah. Uh, let me know if you have any trouble with that though. Um, okay, uh, random stuff with Thiru. Uh, you rock, I can't express my love towards you and Billbox. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Dude, so glad to have you part of the community, seriously. It's it's so cool to have uh, regular people like uh, who are using um, or like using the software regularly and uh, to just have like people regularly uh, tuning into the live streams and stuff, man. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, this is like, a, it's just a ton of fun to work with you guys and to see what you guys are working on. And um, also uh, very excited. Uh, 
Game Jam. Oh, somebody just mentioned this. Uh, real uh, Dishu, uh, the game uh, is asking no signs of a Game Jam. Oh yes, there is signs of a Game Jam. Uh, just you wait. Um, I would do this. I would check the game pan, the Game Jam uh, page. Uh, I would check it tomorrow. Yeah, double check it tomorrow and see if anything has changed. Um, just a little, just a little hint. Okay, uh, Zurich. Uh, there's a game called Two Minutes in Space in the Play Store, and I want to know how the plane moves, but with a joystick move. The game has a different mechanic, but I want to do it with a UI joystick move. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Um, and yeah, and then also Hugh's got something for me. Uh, yeah, Hugh's got the uh, the already. He's got the gameplay for me, dude. Hugh, you're awesome. And then, um, and then also, Hugh, can you uh, double check on that uh, GDPR stuff again? I'm pretty sure that we we handled that a, like way way back. Um, and it's ah okay, okay, okay. So you just want a joist? You want joystick move? And you want to be able to spin and rotate at the same time. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Okay. So, templates. Let's do... Um, yeah, let's do flappy uh, box to start off with because it's already in 2D. And then uh, we're not... Obviously, we're going to have to change things around. But at least that gives us pretty close. Pretty close. Okay. So first off, main character's cube. I don't like that. We're gonna make that be a triangle. Where are you? No. Oh, sorry, plane, mesh, thank you. Let's do a triangle, cool. And we need to rotate the triangle. No? Yeah, let's rotate it. Um, See, if I rotate around the Y, let's do 90 degrees here. No. Let's see here. Shoot, okay, because we want a triangle. I think I just need to add a triangle. Yeah, let's just do that, okay. Or wait, 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 wait. If I go here, there it is. That's the one I was looking for, the 2D one. And then now I've rotated the heck out of it. Wait, where is it? Huh. That's weird. Okay, all right, whatever. I'm just going to, wait, come on. You go here, you get the 3D model. There's, oh, 90 degree rotation still for some reason. I don't know why there was a 90 degree rotation still hung out here. So if I change it to zero here, and then I change it to zero here. And I go inside here. Yeah, good, okay, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and rotate this thing around. So we'll have it, um, we'll have it, we'll give it movement, right? Let's give it uh, like just a very, very slow movement. Let's not do the touch and jump. Let's do a joystick control. Joystick control with uh, rotation. We need to. I need to check rotation on this thing. One second. Rotate. No, I want a rotation animation. Maybe it might be touch rotate actually. Uh, yeah. And then let's do rotation animation. Okay, let's try just touch rotate uh, instead of the joystick, but I think we can get it working with the joystick a little bit. Let's see. Oh, it's got um, gravity, kinematic. Okay. Ah, okay, so it's rotating the other way. Touch, rotate, uh, screen X, world X. Okay. 
Why is it doing that? There it is. Okay, rotating. Um, let's see here. Rotating invert Y. Let's check X here. Okay. We'll do World Z on this one too. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and resave this as... What was it called? It's called space, two minutes in space. Two minutes in space template. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this is, uh, so I got this working, but you wanted the joystick uh, to go. So this is the other thing, okay? So we need to make this a little bit bigger. So let's, let's make this first scene um, like huge. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit here. Okay, cool. And then Let's make this bigger. Okay. Almost there. You know what I'll do is I'll get rid of this guy. Boom. Make another one. Uh, shoot, how do I rotate this thing around again? Option, control, command, shift. Okay, there we go. Get it to the side there. Let's go here with it. Cool. All right, what is this sphere business? That's a point, okay. What is this? Oh, 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 shoot, oh, shoot, okay. You know what I need to do? Uh, let's have this be the first scene. Um, so what we'll do is we'll select all of this. Boundary, boundary, background, cool. And then we'll unselect these guys, copy it, delete these boundaries, boundaries, backgrounds, paste this in there. We're still good to go. Okay, save. All right, now let's get this thing going. Okay, so also I don't like that the you can't tell which direction it's going, so we're gonna go here. All right. I take that back. We're going to go uh, start off by going um, up three. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this gets the rotation thing going on. I still kind of want, I'm gonna do a uh, switch to portrait real fast. And let's do portrait. Let's fix this main menu real fast. Navigation button, boom, boom, boom. Cool. All right, now. All right, something like this. Okay. Okay, oops. Shift it up. Up. All right. Down. 
Okay, cool. We should be good to go here. The camera, that should look fairly decent. And I just need to stretch the uh, scene out a little bit more. Okay. Now, that was a lot of prep. Sorry about the delay there, okay. I'll save. Now, you wanted the that UI uh, going with it though. Um, where you wanted the, um, let's see here. You wanted the, um, but with joystick move. Okay, joystick move, let's see here. So if I go to the game UI, I add in a joystick. I might be wrong, but this might even just like work with a joystick, I think, right now, as is. I might be wrong here. Hmm. Ah, but you want you want the joystick to determine the angle of the uh so you want the um the joystick to determine like the rotation of the whole thing so it wouldn't be um you're right it wouldn't be a, a touch rotate it would not be it would be a let's see here joystick um let's see here um ui joystick move Let's see here, I'm pretty sure. Let's get rid of this guy. Idle. Rotation speed. Let's see. Ooh, crash. Ouch, okay. Uh, I did something wrong. Let's take a look at this gameplay real fast again. Oh, so this one, okay. So I see what happens. So they rotate their character by pressing the left and right side. So that's super, super easy, but you want it done with a joystick, but I want to do it with a joystick move. Okay, so let's see if we can't get that sucker working. It must have been weird because it must be bad that I uh, sent it to the same thing, right? So let's do, let's go joystick here, cool. Then player UI joystick and then um, let's see here. Okay, curious. I'm gonna just save. Let's just see if this works. Ugh, crash. Okay. Um, Huh. Uh, let's see here. What's up, Spice Bean and Kaysen, Brown, Easy, YouTube. Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Um, okay, so you know what, uh, Zurich? I might need to take a look at why this is crashing. <laughs> First, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I should address the crash issue. Um, I know what you're talking about though. Let's see something. Let's see, uh, let's do this one last time. We got the joystick there. Let's do, instead of a uh, UI joystick move, um, hmm. Yeah, that's weird, okay. Um, let's see here. Have your character have a constant jump with moving forward, raise blocks like stairs, physics, and you should be almost there. Like pocket sniper, okay. Um, let's see here, let's try joystick. Sensitivity, move. Let's 
yeah, the joystick's not gonna just work. It doesn't work like that. Is touched. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, write this one down um, real fast. Uh, and I'll have to get back to you on that one. I'm sorry. I'll, uh, so what I've got so far, without this, without, the, without getting the joystick to work, I've got the touch rotate to work. But um, let's see here. Unless anybody... Um, unless anybody knows... Um, exactly how to get because I feel like we've done this before um, yeah okay but the ro the touch rotate doesn't work uh, perfectly because it goes like it depends on where you start your touch okay for right now I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of leave leave it kind of like as it is um and i'll 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 throw it into the live stream let's see here um use gravity but that don't work how to make gravity fall gravity. okay um i'll try and um yeah i'll try and, and get to this a little bit later and i'll see if i can figure it out and i'll post it up on the discord channel okay uh next question um sorry about that guys sorry i have a little bit of a hiccup i'll go ahead and save this and then um yeah i'll go ahead and throw it down into into discord for right now okay all right um now the next thing um that I wanted to mention is that GDPR is no longer an issue with newer versions. Um, there's more information uh, like on GDPR uh, stuff uh, with um, this website here. We have a link that I'll throw in the chat. Um, and then there you go. Okay. Um, all right, there you go. That's the privacy policy on uh, GDPR. YouTube, uh, 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 YouTube says bill boxes for cheaters. You know, I feel like sometimes it must feel like that because uh, because you can make things so fast with bill box. Um, all right, next question: uh, How to aim and shoot a bullet with dynamic physics, where the bullet can then bounce off walls un uh, until it is removed? Yeah, that's fine. Here, I'll shoot. I'll show you how to do that. Watch. Okay, let's do a start fresh. Brand new game. Um, yeah, let's see here. I'll get to that two minutes in space thing, I promise. I'm not giving up on that. Uh, it's, it's still bugging me. I know I can get the joystick to work. It's, it has that UI joystick move, but I'm not hooking up the UI jo joystick move up cle clearly because it's just causing a crash every single time I do it. So something I, I, and I remember doing it in the past. I just need to, I'm forgetting. Okay. So, uh, we need a cannon. So we'll need uh, let's use, this is be our cannon. This'll be our, uh, or actually this'll be the cannon. Um, this'll be our, our bullet. And, um, uh, yeah, that's probably good enough right there. Okay, so um, let's do uh, let's have the cannon be the main character. Cannon. Okay. Collision group character. Um, we'll have it be kinematic. It needs to be. It needs to have a mesh and not a hull. Let's bring this out here. Let's go ahead and make it more like a cannon. I actually kind of like the, uh, hmm. I kind of like, uh, I, I think it would be kind of cool to have a cube uh, at the bottom of the base of the cannon. 
So I'll just add a quick 3D model here and cube, throw it in the bottom, throw it a little bit below. Let's see here, negative one. Let's see here, one. Um, and then let's rotate this sucker. Let's see here, yeah. Or actually, let's rotate this sucker 45 degrees. Okay, perfect. Let's go down negative two. And then let's do negative 0.5. Or no, just 0.5. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I'll forget the uh, I'll forget the cube. Uh, let's just focus on the cannon. Okay. So let's rotate this thing like this, something like that. All right. We're going to uh, have a little touch button thing. So every time I touch the screen, or let's do a let's actually do a UI button. Um. So let's do um. Okay. UI button here, we'll enable it. We'll also do a touch rotate. Where are you? Touch rotate, thank you. Touch rotate. Let's get a little fire button going. We'll have this, we'll have just a, let's see here. Um, let's see, I think I can find a UI button. Let's just do uh, here. This is fine. Okay, cool. So we'll have this be a U, a control button. So we've got to bring a control button in. We'll have this be the image. Okay, make it a little bit bigger. Cool. Okay, this will be our cannon. Fire cannon button. Aye, aye, aye. Fire cannon button. Okay. All right, next. Um, we'll go there to hook up the fire cannon button here so that when we uh, fire the cannon, it's going to spawn a bullet. The bullet is going to be, uh, let's, put, let's call this a cannonball cannonball this will be a doesn't have to have anything it's got to be dynamic it's got to be a sphere let's probably crank it crank down the scale a little bit something like 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and then the same thing with the model 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay cool next um, we're going to spawn the bullet. Oops. Oh, you could probably do some interesting stuff with the bounce there. Um, okay, save. Um, I think we're good to go uh, as a child. And then um, yes, I want to say you have to add it as a child because you want to change the Direction. Okay, we need to give the cannonball some movement. Jump force. Let's do, let's do like ten and ten, right? So let's do ten up, and then negative ten forward, so that it goes flying forward. Um, and then 
This needs to be at exactly 45 degrees if that's going to work. Negative 45 degrees. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and save this as a Canon experiment. Experiment. Okay. We'll save. Then uh, there's got to be a touch rotate. Let's just see how this is looking right now. Okay, cool. I need to get the camera fixated again. Or let's put this sucker at least dead center. Maybe, uh, maybe do two. Okay, cool. Let's do that. I'm gonna uh, zoom out a little bit so that we can see this thing firing off. Okay. So there's the rotation. I don't like the uh, up and down part, but let's try it. Let's just try it. Okay. And then, okay, there's the bullets, but they're being, they're, they're children and they're too big and they're just flying out of there like ridiculous. That's hilarious. Um, the, okay, I'm going to turn on debug mode. Let's not make them be children of it, maybe. Um, let's take a look. Okay, that's weird that, uh, huh. It shouldn't be as a child anymore, so it shouldn't be elongated anymore. Let's make sure that the scale is everything is got everything looks good. Okay, no, it should be centered. It should be a, a let's see what's happening. Oh, the why is the scale so big? Why is the uh, the collision shape so so gosh darn big? Okay. Hmm. Let's shrink it down. Let's try that. Okay, cool. But why is it being, okay, goodness gracious. Why is it being elongated like that? It's not a child of the, uh, it's not a child anymore. Okay, well, I, all right, I'm gonna start this again. Let's grab a cannonball. It's not a child. It's not a child of this. It should not be, it should just, it should just be a sphere. Okay, but it's still long. S okay, I'm gonna try a different spawn node. Let's try that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's all right. It's good to know. So this is what we'll do. We go into our scene. We check to see how elongated this sucker is. We see, okay. We see the scale is 2.3 or 2.3 uh, uh, in the, uh, in the Y. So that means this thing needs to be, um, I guess, negative 2.3 or negative 1.3 in the Y. So that when we press play, it comes out as a sphere? No. One point three. Okay, let's try. Okay, no, if it's 2.5, it would need to be 0.25. So let's just do that. Let's make the tube in this one be 2.5. So that means it's two and a half times bigger than the original. So it needs to be one and a half less times, right? So it would need to be 0.25. And then it should work. 
And it almost does. Why is it uh, 0.2, maybe 0.2? Okay, we're getting pretty close there. Okay, now let's do tube. Let's get rid of this bullet guy. Let's get rid of the camera weirdness. Okay. Now, let's rotate this sucker. Not bad. Not bad. I'd probably give it a little bit more force, right, on each one. Let's give it a jump of 15 and negative 10 or negative 15. I'm curious why on earth it's uh, spying as a child. Cool. That looks way better. Let's draw a little bit of, uh, let's get the, the camera to show a little bit more. 6,000. Yeah. Cool. And then you want it to be able to bounce. And then what I would do, okay, so I would probably do, let's see here, cannonball maybe do point, uh, point 0.15. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so it's perfect cannonball now. Um, and then you can fire this thing like that. Although, hmm, that one didn't, it doesn't go as far because yeah, it, it jumps at this angle. So it's going to go really, really well here. It would almost be better or best to just keep the, uh, this touch rotate to only rotate, uh, the X. So you won't, or oops, sorry, only rotate the Y. So then when you go, you got this going on, you can't go up and down, but you can fire like this. And then um, as far as bounce and stuff, you can make the cannonballs bounce by adding a bunch of bounciness to it. So let's do that. And let's watch it bounce. You can see it bounced quite a bit more right there. And you could even increase the bounciness a little bit even more. And then you said you wanted to disappear after a certain amount of time was the last thing I think you said. Uh, delay and then remove. Okay. You, however long you want the bullets to last, let's say you want the bullets to last 1.5 seconds. Then you, then you remove it. So we'll press play. So one and a half seconds and then it's gone, right? But if you want it to bounce and stuff like that, you'll wait for it to last a little bit longer. Okay. Um, how to aim and shoot a bullet with dynamic physics where the bullet can then bounce off walls and, and until it is removed. Yeah, so the last thing I think you wanted to see was probably like a wall bounce, right? So let's just, uh, let's just do that. Um, oops. Okay. Let's do wall bounce. Wait, what the heck? Okay. Why is it not firing now? Because I have the what the remove setup uh, on the bullet really short or something? Huh. Wait, that's weird. It's not spawning anymore ever since I added the cube to the scene. If I get rid of the cube, okay. What did I just do? I did nothing. 
wait, fire cannon button, tube, fire cannon button, fire cannon button, spawn, the jump, it goes flying off, and now it doesn't fire anymore. All right, what if I just hit control Z like crazy? Okay, what on earth? What did I do? That is nuts. Oh my goodness, okay. So hold on, let's just test this out again. Right now, rotating firing bullets and they they are they have a delay and they're removed after 1.5 seconds now if i take a cube and i drop it in and did you see how it kind of weird it got like weird scaly like it got like a weird scale when i first dropped it in okay All right, now let's see here, get this wall. Let's see if it still doesn't work. Okay, cool, it moves the cube, but that's hilarious. So the cube's dynamic, let's set it to static. And then there you go. You can bounce off the walls. Let's add the cannon, let's add the delay to be uh, three seconds or 3.5. All right, here we go wall bounce and then they 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 delete after you know however long okay um i'm gonna go ahead and save this and i'll share this on discord that was so weird how uh it all of a sudden like stopped working for a split second okay canon and there you go all right perfect Next, uh, Bridget, in episode eight of the live stream, I asked how you make the, the, the something follow the player. You told me to use gravity, but that didn't work. How do you make something follow the player without gravity? Um, okay, so let me see if I can uh, follow uh, the character around. I like have something follow the character around. Um, so I'll do create a new object. Um, yeah, I think I actually, I thought I did this. I, I and I, and I, I think maybe I, Bridget, I might have messed it up um, on that episode, but I think we figured it out later. So let me just show you. So let's say I've got this other object here, like a little, uh, let's say, let's do a cube. I'm just kind of curious. Okay, so we'll make the uh, cube. Be nice and small. We'll have this be a character. Cool. We'll have the cube be 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Probably even smaller than that. Let's see here. I can do probably, let's do cube, follow cube. This is going to be the follow cube. Okay. Now. Let's do, let's make it so that it is 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, okay, cool. Now we're going to give this gravity, I believe, and it will stick, to stuff, I think it will follow stuff with mass in the character. So let's see. Okay. I want to say it needs to be dynamic as well. No. Hold on. I think I got it wrong. I think it's, uh, I think it's, um, this character needs to have gravity, I think. A 
Okay. And then the character needs to have mass. I think. Hmm. Huh. No. Let's see. Okay, gravity node only works with dynamic objects, okay. The strength. Okay, and only objects with some characters filter. Okay. So this is the character. All right. Huh. Okay, let me see. Okay, you know what? Hold the phone up. We did this. I did, I, I'm figuring this out all over again, but we did a black hole the other day that was like a perfect example of this. Here, I'm just gonna use this as a, an example. Let's see here, download this guy. Download this guy. Let's see here, file open. Um, no. Black hole. Nope, not that one. There it is. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Ah, darn it, different black hole. Okay, one second. Okay, here we go. Because I did this before. I used the gravity node and it worked, but something feels off. Okay, so it says, so I've got the black hole here. The black hole has nothing. The debris each has the gravity node on it, the strength. It's set to dynamic, okay. Then the black hole has massive mass. So why wouldn't the why wouldn't it work last time? Okay, let's try this again. So now let's say I were to, I was able to um, move this character, move the black hole around, right? A little touch move in there. Okay. So this can kind of like make you follow the, it can kind of make you follow the character if it has strong gravity. Um, hmm. Okay. So that, it kind of follows the character, but you have to increase the mass and the gravity a little bit more. So probably, uh, but okay, but I want to know why, uh, Okay, characters menu. Hold on, if I just do a straight up brand new BB doc, I should be able to make a, an object follow another object like easy, easy. So let's let's bust this out. Okay, character goes into the cubes, right? You put it in the character collision uh, group. Let's go ahead and give it a touch move node so that we can move it around the X, right? Then let's go get some debris. Right, we get a little, uh, I want a cube debris. Okay, this is gonna be debris. It's already set to dynamic. This cube, I'm gonna give it a massive amount of mass. It's right, high mass. This debris, I'm gonna give it a little bit of gravity. I'm gonna give this gravity. I'm gonna give it strong gravity. I'm gonna give it a gravity of 10. Now, Throw some of that debris in there. 
Ay, ay, ay. Here, let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's do 0.2, point, or 0.3, point 0.3, point 0.3, point 0.3. Same thing with the model. 0.3, point 0.3, point 0.3, point 0.3. Okay. Throw a couple of those bad boys in there. Let's see here. A couple. Yeah, these guys. All right, now. I should be able to move this sucker around just fine. Let's see. Wait, it works it works this time. That is so weird. Sensitivity 0.4.4. 0 .4, 0 .4. Yeah, it's real 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 sensitive. Point one, point one. Yeah, okay, so that's how I would get things to follow a character right now. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't know why, I, I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why that uh, it, it didn't work. Let me go ahead and, and fix this main character real fast. So main character, I wanna make it so that you can control the character a little bit easier so that it's a little bit more useful to you. Okay, character, perfect. Main character, let's touch move, let's invert, uh, let's Y, I guess? No. So, forward okay invert x okay and let's do sensitivity point zero five point zero five and the smooth point one max speed let's get it to five wait invert x why is it not inverting x Good Lord. Hmm. Let's see. Jesus, the gravity just keeps pushing them back and back and back. Wow, okay, so strong gravity. Okay, this is probably the best example. What is happening when they get combined with the character? They just keep pushing, 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 pushing. God, lo good lord. Okay, well, uh, I'm not sure why the gravity on that character, or why it's, it's doing that. But let's see here, probably the mass is too high. I don't know. Uh, okay. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'll go ahead and save this as follow character example. Okay, follow character example. All right, and then the next question. Um, yes. Okay, block yaha. Okay. Um, yeah, you've been, uh, yaha is gone. Sorry, everybody. Um, physics would help. Force equals zero. Expressive boy. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and... Um, let's, I'll go ahead and save the follow character part. I'll throw it into Discord and then Bridget. Hopefully that helps. Uh, Bridget, if you could send me your BB doc 
so that I can see um, exactly what type of gameplay. Maybe the follow this follow node. Um, maybe the follow node is is gone. Um, or maybe like the fall, uh, the gravitate node isn't the way to go. Maybe uh, w there's a different way to set up so that it follows your character. Uh, so if you want to send that in to me, uh, that I'll 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 take a look at it. Yeah, apparently that guy was causing some problems. So uh, glad that we got him off. Um, okay, next question. Uh, so uh, Ara G. How to have an invisible joystick. It should appear only when the user touches the screen. It must be on the spot that the user touches. Also, how to have upgradable items with in-game coins. Um, okay. The invisible joystick part um, is gonna be really hard for me to do uh, without doing some uh, custom coding. So, that part I'm probably gonna have to uh, probably gonna have to skip that part because I won't be able to make it so that um, the joystick right I can make it so that I can make it so that you can touch different parts of the screen and then an image appears where you touch it's not that but uh, it's um, it's the part where you want, I know what you want to do. I want you, to, I know what you're saying. You want to click a part of the screen and then in that little circle area, there's like, you now have like a joystick capability. You probably don't want to be able to move your finger all over the screen once you've reached that point. You know, you probably want to have like a little mini joystick in that little part. That part would be very difficult for me to do right, like right now. I'd, I'd probably have to do some custom coding. So what I will do though is I'll do the upgradable weapons. Um, so let's uh, let's do that. Let's see here. Okay, so I'm gonna do. I'll do a new, uh, brand new example here. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now um, let's see here. And Yakub Hassan. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's gone too. Uh, hide user on this channel. All right. Yaku There's a couple people that I had to get kicked out. Um, and, uh, yeah, so Yakub and ya yeah, ya yeah, yeah, Hassan, see you later, but guys, um, apparently you guys have been acting a fool, um, yes, okay, cool, sorry about that, guys, man, those, uh, those guys were ruining it, I, I was focused on the, on the question, I should have kept a, uh, another, a closer eye on the chat, my bad, guys. I feel bad on that one. I shouldn't uh, let that go go as long as it did. Um, okay, so we're going to have a couple different guns um, if for our for our character, right? So um, let's uh, let's just go ahead and switch the gun, switch between the guns. So these will be uh, we'll have this cylinder be a gun. Um, Wait, I feel like, didn't I do this one already? I feel like I did this, uh, uh, an example of this. Um, swipe puzzle, FPX shooter example. Switch tools in 3D. This is, this is the one. Okay. All right, this is the one I want. Um, let's see here. Switch tools in 3D. I'm pretty sure we did this one. As I, I like, I'm not. It's not to say that I don't want to answer your question. I just think I did already uh, a while back. Um, yeah. So okay. Basically, right. So this is how it works. You um, you you'll have your weapons, your upgradable weapons here. Uh, you'll need to switch it so that they're unlockable with with coins, but um, uh, basically, um, uh, okay. 
this is how I would do this. So I'll give you all, you've already got the, the gun switching thing here, okay? And that's, it's really, really easy. Basically you have one UI button that says, okay, I want you to switch to weapon one. So it removes the other weapon and then replaces it with the new weapon, right? And then the next thing though that you asked, so that's the switching of the weapons. The next thing you asked is how to do it for coins. Okay, so um, so let's do let's do that. So what I would do is I would probably do like a purchase button, right? And I would do like um, oh wait, not a purchase button. Sorry, unlock button or a lock button. Let's see here. Yeah, in-game currency. I would do a lock button, and I would make it so that. Um, you've got this one lock button. I'm just gonna get like create a little lock for it. Um, let's see here. Do I have a lock image anywhere on my computer right now? Lock. Um, PNG. PNG image. There we go. All right. Idle lock. That'll work. Okay. So this will be the locked uh, image. Okay. And yeah, there it is. Okay. Huh. All right. So lock image there. Let me make sure this works. In game currency. Let's have it be just zero for right now. And then you don't want. Uh, ooh, hold on one second. Let's actually, let's switch it to the other side. Ah, dang. Hmm. Hmm. And now you unlock it and you can't click the button anymore and you can't switch. Um, hmm. Unlock type. Object. Hmm. Lock button. Okay. So. Object unlock next scene button. Unlock current scene button. Hmm. Hmm. Shoot. I actually uh, don't know. Hold on. Because cause the lock button, so I have this working with um, in-game currents. I have this working with a UI button, right? So I was thinking that you'd put a lock button on top. Um, See, the thing is, is like, okay, I, yeah, I, I, it would be nice to um, like be able to click the button. I could unlock the button and then, but what does the button do afterwards? Um, hmm. Let's see here. Make sure it has block through touch. Vlad, I, I don't know. See, the thing is, okay, so... If you unlock it though, right? I'll unlock it. I get that little lock button turned off. Then I, but I, then I can't press the freaking button anymore because it's still blocked through touch. Um, oh, oh, not really upgrading it. For example, item A has, okay, RG. Okay, one second. Um, for example, item A has a damage of five. And 
and I want to let the user upgrade this value and increase it uh, using game coins. Okay, so, all right, one second. I need to create, the, to, to do this, I'm realizing that we need some sort of like unlock button that hooks up through the uh, the node map, right? Like, because, um, yeah, let's see here. If I put the object in there. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I got an idea. So I need to, we need to make some sort of like price node or um or purchase node let's see here is there a purchase node that we have right now let's see here because we have a purchase but that's in game that's not uh yeah it's store identifier that's not in-game currency okay so we need something um like in-game currency so that when you like press on this button Basically, um, you need to be able to make it happen, like other things happen. Basically, like this is what we need. We need a UI button. We need a control button that also has the ability to like have a price on it, right? So we should be able to have this, uh, this uh, UI button, this whole like this control button. We should have the ability to lock it. Um, for a price, like for a certain amount of in-game currency or something like that. Now, as far as the upgrading thing, um, uh, um, RG, as far as the upgrading thing goes, that can be done. Um, and let me let me see here. So, but it, but, it, but it can't. I can say I can say this. It won't be able to be done without this note. Without it. Without it being able to. Um, lock a UI button because um, the rest the rest of these are like let's see here what does yeah see so the problem is is here's what here's what happens right so the way a lock button works is a lock button is almost like a navigation button that's locked right so this is the lock button right here, all right? And when I when I unlock it, uh, I have the mind map here, and you can see when I unlock it, it goes, it goes and does something else, okay? But I don't need it to do something else outside of here. I need it, I need it to do something else like inside the node map. Right, I needed to trigger an event inside the node map so that I can switch. So I can basically all you do is you switch. Um, uh, you can either uh, it'll be like the same type of thing, RG. You'll switch the 3D model, right? You'll switch the 3D model and you'll probably switch the projectile so that, like, even if the projectile it'll it might look the same, but it does more damage, right? And and even if uh, even if um, you probably don't want it to look the same. You probably want like some sort of visual visual representation to that it's clear that you that you made an upgrade, um, and then uh, and then and then you could just also at the same time uh, when you make that upgrade, make it so that the projectile the projectile switches too. You you the player won't know the difference. Like you won't be able to tell that you switched the projectile, but the but it'll do more damage you see what i'm saying um you could even give it different projectiles too that would be kind of cool like an upgraded like upgraded weapon also shoots a you know a different colored bullet or something um okay so this is probably this is a super 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 important live stream then today because that it, it really um showed off a uh, like a hole in this um like a yeah uh, uh, like a hole here because we need a way to be able to um, purchase things um, 
with the the UI button. And honestly, if that happens, if we could do that, that could probably uh, make it so that building a character shop was super easy. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with that later, RG. But I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna suggest that you start off with. Um, let me see here. Let me at least. Let me at least give you something, like because you, um, let, let's see here, all, we've got the switching tools, right? We've got the switching tools example. Now, here's what, uh, let's see here. Hmm. But, but the next part of the question is, how do you make it fire? How do you make it fire bullets that do more damage? How do you switch from going from one bullet that fires and does a certain amount of damage to another bullet that does more? Um, let's let's try that out. Let's try that out. So right now we have it so that I'm going to get rid of this lock button for right now. At least I, I've got that figured out. I realized that we need to do something there. Um, let's have this be the fire button. Okay. So this will be our control button. This will be uh, this will be our fire button. Fire weapon. Fire button. All right, character. Let's see here. Um, okay. Um, right here. The character is going to be so okay. I think that there should be like a like the fire button, right? Should uh, there's this might be a, this is a, a weird tricky example, but let's say uh, let's say I have this be the fire button. I'm just this is totally going to be a. Um, a test here. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. So I'm going to have one fire button here and this is going to be fire button one. Then I'm going to make an exact copy of the fire button and I'm going to uh, make it fire button two. Now each one has the block through block touch through turned off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that when this weapon is a, is like in existence that that fire button does something so we'll say that ui button here it's enabled but it's only enabled when this is ex when this is existing so this will be what uh this will be fire button one and when we press it we just need to make some bullets real fast real fast one second a sphere spawn sphere let's do uh movement on the sphere, uh, let's do kinematic movement. Let's do negative twenty uh, in the uh, in the z direction, so it fires forward, I believe. Okay, um, let's do zoom out a little bit. Or no, 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 no. Shoot. Right, okay. So we're actually headed the other direction. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. No, 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 we're good. We're good, we're good. I'm my bad. Okay. Yeah. There it is. We're gonna fire forward. Okay, cool. Um now there we go. There we go. This one I'm gonna I'm gonna call this um I'm gonna call this upgrade weapon or upgrade bullets the example. I've never done this before. I have no idea if this is gonna work. We're gonna we're gonna test this out right now. This will be um, this should this should work though. By with basically from everything I understand, I think it should work. Okay, point point three point three point three point three point three point three. Cool. We've got our we've got our cannon. 
Now, when we we, we fire weapon one, we're going to spawn out these weapons. And we'll spawn it probably a little bit, you know, and forward, like do negative two or something. And we'll spawn the, let's call this sphere. And let's do, uh, let's do an enemy. Let's make an enemy right here. Uh, let's call this hexagon be the enemy. Okay. Okay. Zero, this will be enemy. Put the collision group enemy. All right, we'll have this have health. Okay, a little bit of health. No damage, when it's defeated, it's removed. And it's going to have, uh, it's gonna have five health to start off with. Okay, um, and then, uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. So remove damage sphere. Um, let's do if collide. Let's do two if collides here. Let's do if collide with bullet one with, um, so let's do damage. So we'll do damage and make a second one. Okay, so if I collide with, uh, it needs to, we need to have a, two different bullets too. So we need to have bullet one and we need to have bullet two. Okay, now we're gonna say that if this enemy collides with bullet one, it's going to do damage of one. Okay, but if it collides with bullet two, it's just going to be an instant kill, right? Uh, let's also do, uh, let's do the, the correct collision shapes here. Cool. So this time it's gonna do damage of five. So it's just an instant kill. Um, because it only has five health damage. Okay, bullet one, but we gotta make sure that it connects with bullet two. Okay, cool, saving. <clears throat> um, all right, now um, let's make it so when you fire weapon one here, fire button one, it fires bullet one. And then when we get to weapon two, We'll make it so that, um, let's see, weapon one, weapon two. We'll make it so that it's got a UI button two that's enabled when it's created. Um, and then we'll have it spawn a separate bullet, a separate unique bullet. And then, yes, yeah, so we'll fire, have it fire a bullet two. Alrighty, let's see how this goes. Probably negative two on the offset there. And we wanna make it sure that we're firing fire button two. All right, this is a complete experiment. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so there's the first bullet. Where's the enemy? Okay, so fire the first bullet. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that so that kills the character. That defeats the character if it fires the first bullet. One, two, three, four, five. We probably want to remove the bullets when it comes in contact with the enemy so that it doesn't just pass through the enemy. Okay, but now here's the real experiment. Let's switch guns and then fire. And it's an instant kill. Yeah, the crowd goes wild. Upgraded weapon achieved. 
Okay, now we just need the freaking uh, purchase UI button so that we can purchase those weapons. You know what I mean? Like we could just, that way we can purchase those upgraded weapons. So um, yeah, I think, uh, um, I think that that's the, that's probably the best thing that we could do. I think this, um, I'll talk to the dev team today and I'll see if we can't uh, figure out. I think the, the best way is to do the, um, the guru. Um, oh, so Danger Darsh. So uh, they're at, you're asking, um, like, what was I just doing right now? So I was just uh, switching between weapons and also showing that when you switch between the weapons or you upgrade to a new weapon, uh, it can do more damage, right? So right now what we've got is we've got this first, dan we've got this first one, right? that just does one single damage. But if I switch to the gun, this this one that does five damage, I can press the bullet again and it just like kills the enemy, it kills the enemy. So, all right, I'll go ahead and I'll save this. And then RG, um, you're welcome. Uh, I'll get you though, I'll get you the, I'll work on the, the purchase UI button because that is literally all we need to be able to do now is basically like, just imagine, right? Imagine that we had, um, like this UI button, right? That says uh, UI button uh, weapon one. But then it says like underneath here, like price or something, you know, and price. And then you have to like maybe choose like, okay, maybe the price is an in-app purchase, you know, maybe uh, maybe like you have to uh, attach a store identifier and you have to purchase that upgradable weapon with actual money. Um, then maybe the price is in-game currency and then you decide how much currency like 10 10 coins you know that's what we need that's that's the ticket to a, a, a coin shop right there I'm, I'm telling you okay cool so um, anyways let's save this and then I'm gonna share it real quick real fast on discord okay and then we can move on to the next question all right, upgrade bullets example. I should say upgrading weapons, but you guys know what I mean. Um, okay, so um, AB Mora, how to turn a countdown timer red and make noise for the last 10 seconds. Um, sure, 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 sure. Uh, do I have a countdown? Please tell me I have a countdown in my, uh, file somewhere. I know I do. I've made, I, you, you won't believe how many countdowns I've made in my life. And I, and I end up like just, I end up just, uh, tossing them out. And, uh, uh, I end up just tossing them out and telling myself, ah, I can make another one later. So, okay. 10 countdown animation. Yes. Okay. Uh, but why does this look weird? There's a bunch of extra zeros here. Okay, so one through 18, these are gone. These should be gone. And then one through 10 should work. Okay, all right, uh, let's start fresh. Let's start with a brand new, a brand new template. Uh, I don't know why I did 2D. Let's do three. Uh, yeah, let's do 2D. Okay. Um, all right, so 2D. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so 2D. Let's bring in an animation. Something like this. Let's bring in, an, let's have it be a character object. Or I don't know why it's a character. It doesn't need to be a character. It can just be an object. Okay, let's give it some animation here. Where did the count count my where did my countdown go? Thank you. Okay, countdown's right here, I think. Okay, let's take a look at that. Oh, you know what? My countdown looks pretty cool. I like the way I made it. I try to make it I I now remember this one. I try to make it look almost like 3D. Okay, but let's check the speed on this. Okay, way, way, way too fast, right? So like, uh, if we play the, play this animation, it goes, boom, right, done. So let's let's do let's get rid of that. Okay, so uh, first off, let's center this bad boy. Next, 
Let's change the animation speed to be very slow. Like 0.2 of that. 10, 9, 8, that's still too fast. Let's do 0.1. 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, that's still too fast. Let's do 0 0.05. 3, 2, 1, 0. Boom, 10, 9, 8, 7. All right, we're getting there. I'm gonna do uh, 0.3 uh, or 0.25. 0 0.25 and then it's gonna be it. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Cool, all right, that works for me. Um, might even just crank it up a little bit, 0 0.03. Okay, cool, we're done. All right, saving that. Oops, uh, timer, okay, so countdown, countdown example. Whoop. All right. Um, uh, how to make a sush. Okay. Um, one second. So now, um, let's do, uh, let's do this. Let's do, um, okay. 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 Let me think. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So you're saying that, um, how to turn a countdown timer red and make the noise for the last 10, 10 seconds. Okay. Um, well, actually then, you know what I would do? is okay you know what all right i don't mean to uh like this is what i would do honestly uh i would play let me see here can i change the color of this animation slightly yeah, okay, I can. All right, so I'm gonna make this sucker slightly red, okay? Now I'm gonna create a second animation. Then I'm going to create a delay for the second, the amount of time it takes to play that animation. So I'll do a delay, right? Are they both red? Oh, shoot. Um, Okay, let's do that one. Gray, just white, yeah, okay, cool. Now, do a delay here for 10 seconds. Let's do nine seconds or something like that. All right, and then play, oh shoot, I messed up. I need to do the other way. Go, it needs to go like this. It needs to play the gray first and then the, the red the last 10 seconds. And then you want a sound to play. So you just play a sound here. Cool. So we'll play the sound and stuff after 10 seconds. Let's see how this goes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then, ah, okay, so it's, this needs to be layered. So it needs to be depth order. It needs to be, uh, this needs to go on top. So I don't know if that means it goes one, nine, let's find out. I'll switch it. There it is. Okay, so let's do that. Let's uh, let's increase the uh, delay by one more second. So basically, this is one way to do it. This is the, on, for your particular question, um, uh, Ab Mora. For your particular question, there's multiple ways to do this. All right, there's multiple ways to skin a cat on this one. 
This is one way. Another way is to just have your animation for the last 10 frames blink red, right? Like, so like, and this is what I mean, right? So uh, where did my countdown um, thing go? All right, wait, uh, okay, one second, I'm sorry. I lost it and then I'll, I'll find it again. So countdown, top, this is what I'm saying. Okay, you see how I have uh, 11 images right here? It goes from 10 to zero. So you'll have 21 images, let's say, right? Let's say your countdown goes from 20 seconds down to one second, or I'm sorry, down to zero, my bad, uh, down to zero. Okay, let's say, then what I would do, one, another way to do this is for the first 10 frames, the first 10 PNGs, or the first 11 PNGs, or 10 or 11, um, you make those be regular color. Then you could um, even, like, then you could make the other PNGs have a slightly red opacity, or, um, or you could even have it like each every other one is red, so it looks like it's flickering. You know, it's like flashing, like flum flum flum. Uh, so that's one way to do it as well. Um, th and then you the, the the sound I would probably the sound I would do uh, this this the same way though. The sound I would do it just like this. Um, I would have a delay on the timer and then the sound play. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and let's see what this looks like. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. This is the first 10 seconds of your timer. And then it switches uh, to flashing red um, on the, the last 10 seconds. And that's just because I changed the color. Um, you know, watch this. I bet it'll be a perfect if I put it right at 11. Um, but basically, that's because I changed the color, but you can get it f flickering. And then I don't have a sound playing right now because I'm just not going to play an MP3. There you go. The last 10 seconds, it's red. Um, and uh, um, But you would just, all you would do is you would take the sound that you want to play, the MP3, and you would drop it into there. Okay, and you just drop it into there. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna save it as a uh, countdown goes red for last 10 seconds. Example. Okay, cool. Uh, hope, Abmora, hopefully that helped. Um, how to turn a, a countdown timer red and make a noise for the last 10 seconds. Um, I, yeah, I, sh I just showed you two different ways to do it. Um, now, countdown example, cool. All right, next. How to make a game like Stairs by Ketchup. All right, let's check this out. Let's watch Stairs, everybody. Oh yeah, I can do this. We can do this easy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, let's do this. Let's make stairs. Ooh, I like the uh, color changing though. The, does it slight the colors slightly change after a certain amount of time? What makes the colors change? Is it just uh, like randomly? It's like, oh, okay, I feel like changing colors now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel just randomly. It's like, okay, let's switch up colors because like we've been using the same color for a bunch of bot uh, hops, and they're gonna get bored and if we don't. All right, let's freaking do this. Okay, so there's stairs. Let's make stairs. Create new three D world. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see here. All right. Um, let's make some stairs. Let's let this be a. Let's let this be a stair. Stair. 
the nice part is, is we don't even need to we can just have one stair we don't even need to make like a bunch of different colored stairs we'll just be able to change the color okay um, actually let's take a look at that stairs uh, uh, one more time um, and I'm going to use this as a visual reference here just off to the side okay alrighty so looks to be pretty thick Pretty thick, right about there, I'd say. Maybe like that, and then probably something like that. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's a good looking stair. Let's make sure the stairs are static. Uh, let's add a spike enemy here. So we got a cone enemy, but the cone enemy has a cylinder at the bottom that I would like to add and we'll take the cylinder down and do like 0.1 and negative negative one maybe make it a little bit bigger 1.1 1.1 let's take a look at that I think it maybe would be a little bit thicker. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's see here. Yeah, that looks that looks fine. Okay, next, um, let's get the color going. So we like five zero five zero five zero. That works for me. Five zero five zero five zero five zero. Okay, cool. Uh, there's a difference in the color. Five zero five zero five zero, and this one is oh three f three f three f. What the heck happened? I thought it was five zero five zero five zero. I could have sworn. I swear. Three f three f three f. All right, there we go. And then, is it just me or is the opacity down? No. Okay, no, we're good, we're good, okay. Next, uh, so we are going to give this a static physics type. We'll make this be an enemy collision group. We'll start off here, getting planted into the ground. Let's make this, let's go up with it and plant it. And let's see how much of a stair we need. Let's do, let's do that. Yeah. Okay, cool. So actually, I'm going to delete that guy. I'm going to go straight like this. Right, I'm just gonna like go straight in a, a line, and then this is point. I'm gonna say it's. I'm gonna make these point three exactly, and I'll actually get rid of these guys. Um, I'll get rid of these guys. Okay, make this point three exactly. Then you go like this, and then you increase the height by point three. Um, or actually, hold on. Let's take this guy and make that point three as well. There we go. Then you take this guy, you do this whole business and you do point six, point nine. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, well then I guess not point six, you would add, this would be point nine. Ah, so you add six each time. So you do, this one would be 1.5. And then this one would be 2.1. And 2.7. And 3.3. .3. And 
3.9 and 4.5 then 5.1 and let's call it good on that one 5.1 Hmm. Okay. And that looks fairly good. I might have gone a little bit too thin with them, actually. I'm curious. If I select them all... Yeah. Go like this. That's not bad. All right, let's try that. Let's try it. Okay. There we go. Point 0.4. Perfect. Okay, and then I'll get rid of this guy underneath. All right, I just made the stairs a little bit more, a little bit thicker. Uh, probably, it may be too much, but yeah, anyways. Okay, next we need the character. We need this, the ball. The ball here. Let's make this, make this be the main character. Main character. Be a character. Let's have this guy jumping, the main character jumping. You know, it's an interesting style that they uh, made the character be um, the same color as the enemies. And yet, and yet, the enemies obviously kill the character. So it's like, okay, well, shouldn't the, like shouldn't that be the safe color then? Um, okay, main color here. Let's do 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Something like this. Boom. Zoom in. Let's make sure that that looks good. Yeah, that looks solid, I'd say. Pretty solid. Um, next, we need um, a little, we need like a little, little spotlights, right? So one, actually, uh, one little thing we could do, this would be kind of cool. You might have to have a ton of spotlights, but I don't see what the problem is. May, probably not the best way to do it, honestly, but um, let's see here. So, um, no, it wouldn't be good to just do it like this, but you could. I'll show it to you. There. Okay. Move the camera. Something like this, right? And then you could probably do the do the range, probably something like uh, ten. Or wait, hold on. Oh no no no, ten is the range is fine. The cutoff angle, yeah. Let's do something like ten. Okay. So you do something like this, right? And you could, you could in theory, like, you know, move them like at exactly negative two. And then you have another one here. Um, oops. Um, yeah, you have another one here at negative four. Negative four. And then you, you know, reposition it. Oh, 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 oh. And then you have to see, let's see here. You have it at a height three. So this one would need to be at a height six or height five, sorry. Oops, height four. Okay, yeah, height four. And yeah, and then you could keep moving them. You could keep having those and you could probably take, take down the uh, intensity a little bit or make it a little bit grayer. Uh, can you make the color? Oh yeah, you can. Hold on, cancel, 
shift, make them both a little grayer. That's weird. It doesn't seem to be changing the uh, the color very much. You see what I'm saying? Like right now it should be super purple and, and pink, uh, but it's only registering like the outer edges. Hmm. Maybe it's because of the intensity? Nope. I don't know. That's weird. Okay. Um, the other way of doing that, the other way of doing it is by just having in um, like a little uh, circular, like adding in a little a little sphere dot here. It's probably the easy, probably the best way to do it. Um, making the sphere be super super thin, shrinking it down. You can also do different textures on the on the uh, different texture on the cube, but I think yeah. Let's go ahead and move this down here. All right, and let's change the sphere to a different color. Let's try that. Okay, and then we can get rid of the spotlights. So that's one. That's one way too. You can have little little uh, little circles on there. Okay. Next. Um, so we need to get this thing hopping. So let's do negative two. See there. Yep. Negative two. Okay. Now each time we want this thing to hop, we want this thing to hop fast. So we'll do we'll do jump. We'll move it. The jump force in the negative direction will be like negative two or something. Uh, we need the gravity turned up super high on this one. We're gonna need to tr take the gravity and change it to like negative forty, or probably even higher. And then uh, let's tr try this. As of right now, let's try to get the camera angle going. Okay, so it looks like it looks like you have. Let me see here. The very bottom of the screen. Okay, so you can see the lip. Okay, so that's good to know. So we'll see the lip here rotation zero okay cool let's try that maybe it looks slightly isometric no it's straight on it's straight on Okay, so let's do a little shift. Let's do zero. Okay, let's actually do, let's see here. Are all these stairs zero? Yeah, they are, they're centered. Okay, so then the camera will do point one. Oops. There. Or yeah, point one f two. Point one five. Okay. Um, now, next we need to get this thing hopping. Um, we do want it to follow. Oh, okay. It looks downwards. Oh shoot! The camera shifts downwards. Okay. Okay, that's better. All right, let's do that. And then uh, the next thing. Okay, the next thing is that the camera slowly, slowly is shifting up. Okay. 
Okay, let's see here. Next, let's do. I, I would do the uh, the. Yeah, let's do game path. Let's do the game path, and then, um, and then. No rotation. Let's keep the perspective, but we need to raise the game path up a little bit. So the thing is, is so when we start here at zero, or we start at zero, we need to end, um, we need to end up here. So we need to end up, so this one ended up being at like six height. So let's try ending it at six height. Okay, now let's let's add in a second scene here, and pray for the best. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I need to back it off a little bit, just to kind of see what's going on. Okay, great. So we got a single jump, main character, no jump limit, and then we wanna say every time we collide with the, a platform, we jump again. Okay? And then we gotta make sure that the stairs are a platform collision group. Okay. Okay. So that's cool, but it's jumping too high and it's not moving forward enough. So let's do negative three and it's jumping too high, so 15. Okay, we're getting closer. It actually does get higher, it just comes down really fast. So let's do 20, but let's, let's make the... Uh, Let's make the gravity even higher. So yeah, remember how I was saying the gravity needs to be like super duper high? I'm gonna take it up to negative 60, let's see. Okay, and then we need to do, make it move forward a little bit more. Okay, and then let's see. Okay, so that's too much, negative 3.5. Okay, so we've got some stairs going on here. Okay, let's check this out real fast one more time. Let's try negative 3.4 on the speed and then we need to make sure that the start of our scene is right on the edge of that one. And then the end of our scene is right on the edge of this one. Okay. And there we go. Do the same thing here. And there. Move it. Okay. All right, cool. Now, let's see how this goes. Okay, so at one point it does kind of switch. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of the spotlights here. Get rid of the spotlights. Okay, make the scene one. Okay. Ah, yes. I see. It needs to go down. Perfect. All right, let's take a look. Ah, one seat has to go down, the other one has to go to the top, okay. 
I see, I see. Okay, so this one has to go up to the top. This one has to go all the way to the bottom. I think, pretty sure. Yeah, there it is, okay. Now the last thing, let's see here, let's make this guy have no, cast no shadow. Um, you can receive shadow. Let's make the main character touch move side to side. But only moves uh, screen X, world X, and let's do a position limiter so that you can only go a certain amount side to side. So let's try that. Uh, oops, position limiter on the Y. There should no, there shouldn't be any position limiter on the Y or the Z. Okay. The camera seems to be following the, uh, let's see here. The camera seems to be really chopping hard on the, um, on the position follow here on the Y. It shouldn't. Let's try to crank that down a little bit. All right, let's try character, I guess. No, that is super bouncy. Game path. Point one. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. Smoother, a lot smoother. Okay, so it's maybe not perfect, but there we go. Okay, main character jump negative 3.3. Let's touch move side to side. Whoa. Huh. Follow rotation. Max speed five, one, and none. All right. There should be a zero there. Weird. That it's, hmm. No, okay, good. Sensitivity, 0 0.2, max speed, two, position limiter, negative three and three. Let's try this. Okay, let's try negative 3.25. Okay, the sensitivity is so high. Okay, point zero zero five. Perfect, okay. So let's do point zero one. Okay, let's do point zero six. There it is. Okay, now the last part, we just need to get some enemies here. Okay, let's get some enemies here. Do point five, point five, point five. 
maybe do 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Okay, let's do negative two, plant it in the ground. This should be negative two as well. Okay, let's make a copy. Go here. Negative four or negative six. Oh shoot, negative four and four, two. What's the height on this guy? 1.07, okay. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Try to plant them in the ground here. Let's do one, wait, one. Let's do two. Shoot. Okay. Might as well just get them looking how we want them. Okay. Let's do a couple of these guys. When you defeat the enemy, oops. Okay. Negative six. Plant it in the ground. Do something like that. Negative eight. Okay. Perfect. Negative eight or negative ten. there. Let's do negative 12. Plant it. Let's do negative 14. Lift it up. Okay. And then one more. We'll do negative 16. Okay. <clears throat> All right, perfect. Then we just need to do a couple of these points. Negative four. Okay. Cool, let's do another one, negative six. Oops. Okay. Okay, now we'll do, uh, we'll call these points, call these cones enemies. Enemies, we'll call these points points. Okay, and we'll say if the main character collides with points, if it collides with points, we're going to add a point to our score. And we're going to add a global point. It'll just be a point, not a coin. Current, cool, next, uh, we need to add a way for the coin to show up, for the point to show up. So we'll add a UI screen, we'll add a default font here at the top center, score, current world, points, current, left, stick to edge. Main character, now the next thing we're gonna do is if we collide with an enemy, we're going to defeat the character, defeat the character, 
if we collide with an enemy and we want to defeat the character we want there to be a debris explosion maybe a delay and event observer perfect okay so defeat delay game over call this game over debris explosion will have this take place over 2.5 seconds debris explosion we need some debris here call this debris um, we'll make it dark 3f 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 okay now cool debris let's also make the uh, main character let's make the debris ah, it doesn't matter the, it'll change the scale for us debris cool set to dynamic nice minimum scale total number let's do 30 um, inherit color preserve momentum cool let's do 15 15 15 15 15 15 okay cool now when the game over happens we will have an event observer here checking for game over and then we can call we can start the game again okay so we'll start the game again by adding a new UI we'll add this little play button here I'll play button. Let's see here. Okay. This will work. Okay. Navigation button. Play button here. Navigation button. Start it again. Little play button. Cool, we'll hook it up so that we can start the world over again. Once we're here, let's save to, what is this called? Uh, this is stairs, stairs. Okay. Now what the heck is playing on back here? My goodness, there's some crazy children's monkey show. Okay, so now we are getting left to right. We gotta make those static. Let's see how the explosion works. Okay, not, the explosion's not working perfect. So okay, so let's, let's check that. So the collision shape on the character needs to be Ah, so the collision shape here, starting off as a sphere, the platform checks for uh, there, that's good. Um, then this one checks for points, make this one just a tiny bit bigger. And then this one is enemies, make this one just a tiny bit bigger too. All right, now, main character the points need to be static and then um yeah let's let's take a look save it oh one other thing let's make the default font uh be uh the dark color okay cool let's save All right, let's try this out. The jumping needs to, we need to do something about the jump. Okay, so we got one point there and then we, exp the enemy explodes. Okay, so, and then we've got, we need to do some fog. 
on the 3D world for sure. But let's bring the fog in like way, way closer. Like a thousand. And then two thousand. Okay. So this looks more like the game. And then I was I take it back on the uh, font, it should be white. Okay. And then UI screen, let's make it centered. Okay. And then the jump on the main character jump needs to be a little higher. All right, let's try this. Hmm. One more time. Man, the jump seems to be a, a getting affected by the the touch move. Okay. I'm going to, uh, all right, so this is this is one other difficulty. I'm gonna go ahead and save this here and I'm going to uh, just, you know, like this is a decent template. This has gotten you probably a, a good portion of the way, right? Um, so you could start working on like changing colors. Like you'll have like invisible, invisible planes that as you like pass through it, um, or like you maybe you have like a special cube like a special stair that when you hit the stair, the colors change. There's a color animation, right, that happens. Um, so you could do that. Um, now, the other thing that I'm realizing is really important for this game is, um, is not so much, it's almost like, it's, uh, we need a, some sort of combination between the bounce node and the um, the bounce node and the jump node. So basically the problem with this one is we keep experimenting with the jump force, but it should just be a set jump that it completes every single time. It should, we should just say like, it should be set to like a grid or something like this, where we say, okay, here's the grid, right? Here's our, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll get rid of the grass so you can see it. So it should be set up with a grid and say, okay, I want to do a one unit, like a one unit jump from here to here. And so it hits the dead center of, of the grid, of each grid uh, box each time. That would be the most useful for this type of game. So um, I'm going to say grid jumping and unit jumping, some sort of combination, some combo between bounce node and jump node. Okay. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and save this right now. I'll, I, I feel like this is a pretty good start to the game uh, here. Uh, we've We've probably got some jumping that we've got to work with. And then uh, the the position limiter works though. You can only go a certain distance to the left, certain distance to the right. Um, and then you're, you're able to collect points when you land on the dots, but it's going up the stairs. That's the issue, right? So you're able to collect points there just like that. But I'm gonna work with the dev team right now about getting a, a jump unit node so that it makes this a little bit a little bit easier but I feel like this is a pretty decent start uh, based off of you know just looking at it for the first time all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and call it today we're gonna do two more live streams next week we got a lot of really really amazing stuff going on next week so please uh, stay tuned uh, keep your eyes open uh, keep an eye out for the game jam page I'll be checking that regularly in the next couple days um, and yeah all right thank you so much boxers for joining me for the live stream today um, and uh, yeah, I really appreciate um, I, I really appreciate you guys joining in. Oh, oh, you're right. And um, 
uh, yeah, Al was just saying that maybe switch it to white fog and friction and yeah. Oh, and somebody uh, just asked like, is the uh, software free? Uh, yes, you can download the software for free and uh, everything that I was I just did right now in that template, you can do with the free version, um, no problem. So Kendrock, uh, Kendrock Games also asked, uh, if it's free, uh, yes, it is free. So you can download the software for free at buildbox.com. And yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me for the live stream. Um, I'm going to do two more live streams next week and answer some more questions. Hopefully, uh, I'll go ahead and drop the uh, stairs um, template right now that I just made. Uh, just drop it into Discord just like that so you guys can access it. And yeah, have a great weekend, everybody. Happy Friday. And yeah, stay safe out there, everybody. All right, bye.